Hi, this is Mike Anderson. Just wanted to show you a little warm-up exercise practicing that I like to do. Moving, it's a very common jazz pattern. Moving through the cycle of fourths, you would have, you may have heard it before. It's quite common. Um, So on. So what's happening with this pattern is we're starting on the third degree of the scale. Well, it's moving through the fourth. So it starts on G7, C7, F7, B flat, moving around the cycle of fourth, so on. Starting on the third of each chord. So what happens is we're playing on the G7, three, two, one, flat seven. And then we're immediately when we switch to the C7, landing on the third here and going up the arpeggio. Uh, that's three, five, one, flat seven. And then for the F7, three, two, one, flat seven, B flat seven, E flat, A flat, G flat, G flat, B, and so on. Now, what's, what's cool with this, both, both versions of the pattern, ascending or descending, all both start on the third, right? So, so you can play it, play it moving through the cycle of force, just descending, or ascending as well. But what's the really, really cool thing is because they both start on the on the third degree of each respective chord, you can pick and choose which direction you'd like to go. So I like to switch around directions as I feel like it while still modulating through the fourths, cycle of fourths, I should say. And you can play it forever. It's a great way just to warm up the mental and the technical facility to get your brain working, uh, moving through all 12 keys very, very quickly. Um, and it's a really, really fun exercise. Cool. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.